remind you that extremism in the defense of liberty is no vice. America's evil genius, Travis Cook, back with you once again. And yes, indeed, college graduation time is upon us once again here in the United States of America. Oh yes, it is May and it is college graduation time. And that means across the fruited plain, many Americans, noteworthy, not so noteworthy, any, any number of people in between, are giving commencement speeches at college graduation ceremonies. And, and I'm sure you can think back and remember all of the inspiring things that you heard at the uh, commencement speech at your college graduation ceremony. Who, who am I kidding, actually? Most of us don't remember the commencement speech at our college graduation at all. I mean, either we were too hungover to pay attention to it, or the guy was so boring it put us to sleep. So I give us our degree, get us the hell out of here. So, okay, most of the time these speeches leave a little something to be desired. Hell, I, I couldn't even tell you the name of the guy that gave the one at mine. Eh, they leave a little bit to be desired. But nevertheless, that does not stop a lot of prominent Americans from trying to give it a whirl and go on to some college campus somewhere and inspire these young and erstwhile graduates uh, and give them some words of wisdom so that they can go forth into this uh, great world of ours. Well, among the uh, noteworthy Americans recently who's been trying to do that is our alleged President Barack Obama. Last weekend, he was at THE Ohio State University. By the way, for those of you who are not familiar with the Big Ten, it is a requirement that you say the word THE whenever you mention Ohio State, but I digress. Some of you in the South and the West may not have understood that. Nevertheless, Barack Obama runs out to THE Ohio State University and uh, proceeds to give a little speech to their graduates. And I wanted to share with you a piece of that speech, a little passage from it that I found particularly galling. I mean, I would hope, regardless of party, that a president who's giving a commencement speech would give some uplifting words of wisdom and some encouragement for these people to go out there and achieve their best and achieve their dreams. Oh, but Barack Obama gave us something different. Here is a passage from Mr. Obama's speech, and I am quoting directly from him here. <clears throat> Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that's at the root of all of our problems. Some of these same voices also doing their best to gum up the works. They'll warn that tyranny is always lurking just around the corner. You should reject these voices. Wow. You go out there to a college graduation ceremony and the most inspiring thing you can say is reject people who tell you to do it on your own, trust government instead. Wow, go get them, Barack. How inspiring. You know, it's sad in a way. I'm making some fun of it here, but it's really sad that he's going out to these young people who are just learning their way in America and trying to, uh, trying to persuade them that government is a positive aspect of their lives, that, pos that, that the government is something that they should look towards instead of, instead of try to, to move away from or try to even deconstruct in some respect. That's sad to me because when he, he's really misleading these kids when you think about it. When he says that they should reject the voices of those of us, and I'm, I'm one of those voices, a very small one, but I am one of those voices, who will routinely tell you that the government is the root of most of our problems, he is misleading those young graduates when he says so. Consider the following. Consider some of the most important problems that face us right now. Our financial issues and our debt. That's a huge problem for us. What's the cause of that? Well, the biggest cause is entitlement spending. Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, that's over 60% of the freaking budget. You know, all that money we're borrowing, we're borrowing it to pay for that crap. We've gone through that on this show many times before with the details of it. But it's entitlement spending, it's set up in legislatively to automatically spend the money no matter what money you've collected. Uh, through through different formulas and so forth. I won't go into all that here. But basically, you've heard me say, it's a time bomb. A legislative time bomb for America. We're experiencing it now. So yes, that particular problem is the fault of the government. Look back at um, a lot of the issues we see in our urban areas, our inner cities, with our minorities. The crime, the broken homes, the poverty. 
So much of that is directly attributable to Lyndon Johnson's Great Society program and his expansion of welfare that destroyed those communities. So there again, another great American problem that is caused by government. Look at another huge problem. Our porous borders where people come over willy-nilly whenever they want to. And our immigration laws that aren't nearly as strong as they should be, which have resulted, of course, in a lot of job losses and a lot of uh, petty crime, but it's also resulted in terroristic acts such as the Boston bombing or even 9-11. Our mundane and lackadaisical immigration laws have led to that. So yeah, when you look at three of the biggest problems we have, you're damn right the government's the cause of those problems. And here you are trying to mislead these people and tell them otherwise. Let's put this into perspective. We as a nation for the last hundred years, much, much longer than these college graduates have been alive, we have given the old college try, if you will, to the idea of a large and expansive government managing society. We've tried it. Yes, Democrats have always led the way on that, but uh, there have been plenty of moderate Republicans in there that bought into the same lie as well. So you can honestly say that we as a society have given the idea of government a good go. We've tried it. We've tried to use government to solve our problems throughout much of the 20th century and into today. You go back to when I was a kid, when you were a kid, the, the question wasn't so much about whether government is good or bad, but how much government is good or bad. we got to move away from that. We've tried government the last hundred years. It has failed miserably. It has brought us to debt and the brink of financial disaster. It has destroyed our poor and urban communities. And it's physically destroying us in terms of terrorism with the, uh, with the lackadaisical border laws we have. Big government doesn't work, and it's a proven fact at this point. Now, if I were the one giving the speech, I think, I think there's a much more important and appropriate lesson that Mr. Obama could have given these, these uh, college graduates. You know? And I gave you one part of his speech. The whole speech is basically about what government can help us all do together and how we can all help each other and all that kumbaya crap you usually hear out of him. I think there's a much more appropriate message that we need to give these college graduates. I would have told them, I would have liked these graduates to know that they should be more focused on what they can do for themselves than what they can do for society. I would go so far as to say these new college graduates with their degrees, they do not owe society a damn thing. They don't owe you a damn thing, Barack Obama. They don't owe me a damn thing. They're the ones that worked hard for that degree. They're the ones that sacrificed. They're the ones that had the discipline to get it. By God, they should do with it what they want. They should use it to make as much of a lifestyle for themselves or as much money as they want to make without considering anybody else. If that's what they want to do, they earned it. Now, granted, there's some people out there that got a bunch of federal college loans for it, and I don't like those things, but yeah, some people did that. But I would say even to them, well, okay, you owe us the money from it. <laughs> you need to pay back that money. But once you pay back the money, it's yours. Do what you want with it. Use it to make as good of a lifestyle for yourself as you can. You don't owe me nothing. And you know the best part about that, Barack Obama, and, and this, is, this is what you hate to hear. This is what all your liberal friends hate to hear. When those college graduates, or any of the rest of us for that matter, pursue our self-interests aggressively and above all else, we will, at the end of the day, do what's best for society. We don't have to be motivated by doing well for society. We can be motivated by doing well for ourselves, but it will result in our doing what's best for society. Because after all, you can only make money in this world by satisfying the wants or needs of your fellow man, or by investing and facilitating those who provide the wants and the needs for your fellow man. Well, hey, that's exactly what we want. We want a booming economy. We want a higher standard of living. Well, get government out of the way and we can have it. Don't gum up these young people who are about to make their mark in the world. Don't gum them up with an idea of government taking the place of what they can do for themselves. The bottom line is this, and oh, some people are going to hate to hear this, but it's the gospel truth. Greed helps us all. Government only helps those who are in power and those who only want to take from their fellow man and not contribute. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd kind of like my older years to be a, pr a pretty good society. I'd like, to, I'd like to have a good life when I'm older. And the only way we can do that is if these young people today aggressively pursue their own self-interest because it will be in their self-interest 
for me to be able to spend my money with them on a good retirement home or what have you. There's any number of examples you can use. But I need for those people to pursue their self-interest and to look out for themselves and their families because that's going to benefit me. It's going to benefit us all. It's going to benefit all of us far more than for them to instead contribute their talents and their expertise and their knowledge to a bloated government bureaucracy that has already proven to be a failure. That's it for this week. This is America's Evil Genius. We will see you next time.